chalk, anything. And I think people... Well, I appreciate that. What's up, what's up, everybody? Um, Lisa, could you hear us or see us? Because we don't, we don't, we don't even start the stream. We just open the studio, write in what we need to write for the headline, and we don't even hit go live or stream live or anything. Uh, I'm talking about 10 minutes ago, before y'all came in here. This is so dry. <sighs> What's up, y'all? What's up? How's everybody doing on this fine Wednesday? Gotta be a new cake people or something. Is it cake? <laughs> Susan, you'd be surprised. We got some haters up in here. But you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to be just that much better the next time just because of people that are negative in their life or that might be sad or heartbroken or uncreative. So we have some haters? Mm, it's, just, it's just a person give a thumbs down. It might have been the person that came in before we were live. Somehow it lets you like stream with no audio or visual. Yeah, you can jump on but there's no audio or visual. Yeah. All right, so I, I did one of those. Uh, I, I'm just going to buy it because Amazon sent me a, a discount. And I've been using the same chalk markers for years, for three or four years now. Um, and I love to do chalk work. I love, like, chalkboard art. Like, I charge kind of a lot for it, but I love doing it that I forget you know, how long I've been doing it as, as, as far as when the start time to where end, like I can get totally lost in doing, um, it's like doing filigree. You just, it, I love doing it. Um, so Amazon said deal of the century or check this out. And it said chalk markers. They were 19 bucks for 30. I'm like, that is, that's amazing. You can't go wrong with, you know, you get 30 chalk markers. Uh, four of them, four or five, are like sparkly, which I've never seen. So I got them, um, and I got them in today. Opened a couple of them just because I was excited just to, just to check them out. And they're, they're decent. It's good. So I thought, why not show you guys how I do a chalkboard, how a little different like a menu, I've made some black um, boards here. It's not chalkboard paint, it's just flat black paint. And uh, I'll show you guys how I, how I start my, uh, my chalkboards, what I do, some of the techniques I use, and thought that would be something fun for y'all to, to see, because I've never showed you guys. 
So I'll be right back. Chalkboard stuff. Okay. I didn't move any of the cameras. <laughs> I didn't move the cameras. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna have to move the cameras. We went live on uh, on Deep Ellum Art Co's Facebook page today. I wipe my hands off and everything, but it may have a little residual sticky. So as you can tell, I kind of rearranged the uh, yes. this the uh, space. the space. Um, Erica's in there filling out orders. We had a good sale today. We didn't have a sale, but there was a sale. It was a sale. How much was the sale, babe? Yeah. Babe? You had not had a big sale in a while. Kim, her name is Lisa. Is it still live? Someone wants to buy some pain. So we got a bunch of, uh, bunch of stock in. Um, color Passion and some Just Resin. I think um, color obsession, color, obsession yeah. um, color passion, color passion. Color obsession is and there's a ten percent off code if you guys want to know it. The code is cells. The code is cells, C E L L S. So you better jump on that. That ends tonight. Um, Cause we are going to my sister's for her birthday tomorrow. So we will be out of the studio tomorrow. <laughs> Sandy Stewart says, we bought a grill last week. I have missed my grilled burgers from home. <laughs> What's up, Nene? Nene said she sent you a text. Sorry if I missed anybody's comment or question or hi or how you doing. How's everybody doing today? Um, let me switch this over to the fun camera angle. How about that? Let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, all right, this is gonna be fun. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done this for you guys yet. I'm gonna break this in half. I'm complaining that this cake thing is very dry, but it's good. I don't mind the texture because it's vanilla. Mm, nom, 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 nom. And it's got sprinkles. All right. So, as I was telling you, I got these new... Uh, Paint or uh, chalk pens. What is that? Goatee detail? What? <laughs> Gotti deal. Gotti deal? How do you say that? G O T I D E A L. Gotti deal? Um, and like I said, there's 30 of them and these colors look awesome Like I've been using the same paint pens um, These chalk pens and they're all the same color. They don't have a variation um, Bristol Bistro chalk marker um, They're good. Don't get me wrong. I love I love these um, They only make this one size 
and um, I did find a couple um, a couple other chalk markers that, that uh, so this is basically I think there's a darker purple um, and these big ones here um, but these are basically the colors so y you got these colors to work with and I'll show you what I mean by different techniques of using these because these are pretty thin I don't know why I'm looking up there um, these are pretty thin so uh, you want to make them pop you want to make the word bigger I'll show you what I do to do that um, but and then there's these kind here by uh, Craft Smart. They're good. This is a fun one. Um, this is probably you want to use this for smaller chalkboards because it's um, you want to kind of write slow and steady because this is a calligraphy one. Um, I would love for if they made like a huge chisel tip like that. That would be amazing. So um, Craft Smart, if you guys are watching. I would love for you guys to make a big chisel tip or um, Pintel or Gotti Deal. <laughs> that's how, that's got to how to say that. It, um, or Brist, Bistro. I'd love for you guys to make the big chisel tips. These are kind of chisel tips or just square, but these are good to make bigger lettering, outline stuff. And I will show you the pastels I use to enhance said chalkboard work. I love this uh, Sargent. They have some amazing colors in here. As you can see, I rarely use green. <laughs> I use a lot of these blues, a lot of oranges, reds, yellows, whites, a lot of white. A lot of bright stuff, magentas, yellows. Um, so let's see here. Let me. I didn't. Uh, I haven't read anything yet. I apologize, y'all. Got ideal. Is that how I say it? Oh, is there's happy birthdays. Well, happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday, Gina. Happy birthday, Deborah. Uh, Roxy. Roxy says, what chalk pens? Something you use on chalkboard. Yes, all this stuff I use on chalkboards. Um... Chalkboards have changed over the years. It's not just, you know, the classroom chalkboard, which I love. Um, now they've made them to where they're either a little more coarse or they're slippery, which I'm not a fan of the slippery ones because you can't use chalk on them. You can't use pastels. You have to use the chalk pens. Um, they also make, now they make black chalkboard paint which I'm pretty sure it's just flat black. And maybe you put some sort of protectant over it that maybe makes it gritty. I don't know. I've never understood that stuff. You're supposed to let it dry for 24 hours, which normally you buy that stuff the day of when you're going to do something and then it lets you know you have to wait 24 hours to use it. So what I did is I just took some regular old black, flat black interior house paint and just painted one of these boards. I painted three of them um, because what I want to do is I'm going to put I'm going to put a matte finish over this. Okay? I'm going to sand it first though. I'm going to sand this because it's a little it's a little rough. Um, then I'm going to put a matte finish over it. Then I'm going to take one Another one, I'm gonna 
sand this one, but I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to put anything over it. Then I'm going to take the third one. I'm not going to do anything to it. And I'll mark them all. We'll, we'll put on the back what's what so we know what's, what's good. And the reason I do that is because sometimes when you draw on chalkboard stuff, depending on how long you leave it on there, but normally if you're doing it that day, you draw on it and you misspell a word. And, you know, you're either five seconds in or five hours in. And sometimes when you erase it, you still see the outline of the word. Or there's a little, it doesn't come off all the way. Like some of the chalk might stay in it, in the blackboard material. Um, or uh, it comes all the way off which you never know what's going to happen because every, everybody has such a different um, different style of chalkboard lately. So, um, especially with the paint pens, that stuff will stain chalkboards if you leave it in for a long time. We need some of those cartoon sounds. <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through pretty much how I, how I start a chalkboard. Um, I guess I could just do a little bit. I'll just say, um, not necessarily how I start it, but my, what do you call it? I don't even, I can't even think of the word right now. <clears throat> Brain fart. Um, anyways, all right. Let's just do it this way. We're going to spray one of these. I'm going to sand this. And uh, I'm not going to use 220 because that is way too rough. I'm going to use, you know what? What if we do use 220 because you want a little grit, right? Yeah, you don't want, you don't want grit. You want smooth, especially for doing the pastels. There's nothing worse than a really rough chalkboard and you're using pastel, and it looks like a really rough chalkboard. No way. So I'm gonna get some 400. I'm gonna get some 400. I have um, some matte spray here. Um, so what I'm thinking this is going to do is the matte should put some sort of protecting coat over this, which shouldn't allow the chalk pen to soak into, right? Um, so like I said, I'll sand one mat, sand another, no mat, leave the other one. So let's sand this. That's in 400 here. Nice purple sandpaper. Welcome Tracy. Holly, I think it's going to be fun to watch. Thanks for joining us. Good day, Miss Sue. How's Australia? All right, this is a little, I don't want to call it a pro tip, but it's kind of a pro tip. I made it up. <laughs> um, whenever sanding, especially something on a small surface that uh, you know that if you put a little pressure in a certain part of the sandpaper, you'll definitely get finger uh, sand marks. And you don't want that, especially not in something like this. Um, so what I'm hoping, if I do do that, then the mat will cover it up. We'll see. So, and what this does, it gives you pressure 
you put this you put a rag in between it it gives you pressure like pretty much a full even pressure when you're sanding you don't need to sand a lot on these I only put one coat on here um, and also a little bonus it saves these two pieces of sandpaper from scratching up against each other and you not being able to use that side because it's it's ruined so I like to take my rings off before I do this because sometimes your rings do make lines in the sandpaper so I'm just gonna go ahead this is just a piece of uh, I think this is LDF I don't know if this is MDF because this is the lightweight stuff so and I just hold the sandpaper and I'm just gonna go in circles and I think I think it's good anyways to get this out of the way even if you don't put the the matte finish over it because if you ever notice when you paint something flat black and you're painting or you you're doing something and your hand will scratch it and you'll touch it see that I'll show you because we're gonna sand this one anyways if you if you touch flat it makes a mark look at that and then you there's you can't get rid of that because if you try then you're just gonna continue to put more marks on it and you'll be able to see that area which ugh, I hate that so now what you're doing if you sand it you already have this you're getting rid of that top layer that makes those marks and then when you put something down on it you're not even gonna be able to see those marks so and this will make it nice and smooth too because sometimes that sand or the uh, when you when you lay that paint down sometimes there's either trash in it or it just makes a little texture from the roller there you go and I'm going to show you the difference between sanded and not sanded let's wipe this off so you can see there and like I said this was just regular I don't know why I keep looking up here I, I guess I'm used to that camera being right here um, so check this out I'll show you I always like to put my sandpaper right where I normally can get it this is the difference between sanded and not sanded you can tell right not sanded sanded so let's write on the back of this we'll say uh, sanded with 400 and matte All right, so we're gonna spray the mat on this. Can you just use chalkboard paint? Huh? Can you just use chalkboard paint? You can, but it's still the same. Oh. It still does what this is doing. Okay. Like, I've, I've done it. You put it, like, uh, the lady upstairs, what's her name? Angela. Angela. She, she painted her whole wall with that chalkboard paint. Let it dry. And the first time I went up and I messed up, I wiped it and you can see where I wiped it and it's just because it's brand new paint when you repaint or make a new chalkboard you have to prime it first by rubbing chalk all over it before you write on it ah no thank you Tracy is that Tracy um, that would be awesome if you could have uh, the old school school erasers that are full of chalk and just wipe the whole thing. But yeah, that does make sense. Um, Tracy says when you re when you repair or make a new chalkboard, you have to prime the chalkboard by rubbing chalk all over it before writing on it. That's for chalk. Don't know about chalk pins. It's the same because I think um, when you erase 
chalk pins, for one, you have to use water because that chalk pins don't come off. That's what I love about these chalk pins because they don't smudge after you've put them on. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a once over. And this might not work, y'all. It might, it might put a layer on here that I don't want. That one dry a little more. All right, so now this is the second one, and we'll just do sand with 400. All right, so we'll just sand this one. We won't put anything over it. Maybe this is what, maybe this is what you can do if you don't have chalk to put all over it. All right, so this one will be just sanded. It's funny, now you can see the difference because I sprayed matte over this. Now it's, it kind of turned it to dark black and this is the sanded one. <clears throat> Thank you, Nene. Monster. See, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm thinking this is my, my camera here. Um, whoops. All right, now the third one, I'm just gonna leave it leave it be which i really don't like because i like to this is very textured too like this is and i painted the side so you'll be able to tell this one is the one that we just left alone Let's see what this one's gonna do. The one with the, uh, this is with the matte spray, sanded with matte. All right, so let's say I wanna make, um, we'll say tacos for $1.99. What do you think about that? Um, Normally, I would have to get out. I'm not a fan of using tape measure on a chalkboard or like uh, a big long ruler because it's just difficult to end to end and straight lines. And um, what I normally do is just put it off a little bit, like just maybe just put it off a little so that. It, you give it some style. It's, it's not perfectly straight unless that's exactly what they want it. Then you measure it out, make straight lines, all that fun stuff. But what I normally do so that uh, I have a straight line is uh, what I'll do is I'll take a piece of the blue tape, which is awesome because this stuff sticks, but then it doesn't. So it's perfect. Put it on, take it off, put it on. Um, what I'll do is get my get my tape and if I want to make um, even letters what I'll do lay the tape down and then so that I don't have to 
so I don't have to uh, draw the lines. Like sometimes people will draw a line, but you don't want to see that. You don't want to have to erase. Um, when you're, and then plus you're doing your lettering, depending on type of lettering, you don't have to go in there and erase that line that you draw. So what I do is I'll take some chalk. I'll take like a really light, maybe like a gray. Put a little gray on my hand, just a little bit. You can see that. And what I'll do is I'll just hit this line right here with it, all right? You can't really see anything on there, right? But once you take this tape off, look at that. You have a nice, very, very faint line to write your word on with. All right, so since we're gonna do a big taco sign, this is what I'll do. Normally it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to get down. <laughs> and I don't charge the person for this because it's my, it's my setup. Like it's how I get ready, it's how I, how I, uh, what I'm feeling for the menu, what I'm feeling for the words that are in it, the type of food or the, or whatever I'm doing a menu for, whatever it is, wine, food, bicycle stand, whatever, grocery store, process. Um, I normally do just a bunch of different styles first, at first. Um, I try to do it off to the side, you know, just bring a piece of board that you, you're used to writing on. Um, but um, I'm just doing taco $1.99, so it's whatever. <clears throat> so either you can use, I'll do, it, I'll do it two ways. I'll do, I'll do a taco up here and a taco down here. I'll do first with, with, the, with the paint pen and then with the pastels with the paint pen. Vice versa kind of thing. How I, basically how I do the process. Do process. All right, you guys can see that. Hopefully my hat won't get in the way. All right. I'll just do the other one on this one. All right. You know what I want to do? I want to I want to write I'm going to write something right here just so that I can have this up here. Um because I want to erase it here in a little bit. So I'm just going to leave that there just so I can know because um, I want to erase that here in a little bit. All right, so we're going to do tacos. Let's do a fun tea. Or just a regular tea. cursive or just like a yeah I'll do it in cursive so I'm gonna start with a small font first some flair to it. Tacos.
Oh. Do you drive Choc Yes, Evelyn, this is Chalk Pen Paint. Um, I got some new ones, so I wanted to use those. And I didn't. <laughs> so, we're going to dry this out with my handy dandy heat gun. So if you just joined us, um, all I did was break my heat gun. Um, if you just joined us, what I did is I just painted a piece of MDF, flat black, house paint, interior, flat. <clears throat> I painted three panels. Um, I sanded this one and I put a coat of matte finish over it. Um, did I sand this, y'all? After I put that? I sanded it and then put the mat down. But I but I didn't I didn't sand it. That's what I didn't do. Alright. Um, and then so okay, so this one, um, I just uh, sanded it. That's it. Nothing else. And then on the third one, I did nothing to it. And this is, you can tell, this is like textured. And the reason why I did that is because when you paint on a brand new chalkboard, um, if you write something on it and wipe it off, you always get this mark wherever and you cannot make that go away. So what I thought about doing, eliminating all that, put it all down. And that's basically what this is. I've sanded it. You could tell it's a little darker. Um, sanded it just so that it's already kind of primed, I guess you could say, so that when you do write on it and wipe it away, you won't be able to see those white marks. Now, you might be able to see the paint pen as the result of that. So that's why I did a matte spray over one, a sanding, and nothing. So we're going to see all that and I've wrote it on the back of these. So now we're at the present. I wrote with a chalk pen and now um, I'm gonna show you how I kind of decorate, I guess you could say, with paint pen and chalk marker just to make it a little festive and a little bit more appealing and not look so chalkboardy. Um, so what I would do, let's see here. We can do, let's do a yellow glow. We'll do a yellow glow around this. So let's get a, a we're gonna get this guy here. We'll get a yellow, uh, yellow paint pen. And we're gonna outline this. And instead of it just being a regular old outline, we're gonna make a piece of neon outline. Um, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I can't even remember the first time I ever did a chalkboard. Like, that's a great question. I can't even like know. So I'm not gonna do what I normally do, like a a lot ex extravagant stuff on here because uh, that will take way too long um, I can tell that there's something on this like I can tell that there's this matte finish on here because it's my pen is kind of skipping like it's like I can feel it tugging kind of like it's catching on it so I'm kind of excited to see what just sanding will do to it all right, so now this is not even the same color. I don't. Let's use this one. All right, so this is a little bit better. All right, so now I'm going to take this chalk. This is pastel. 
and I'm just going to go right over the top. Technically, I'm going right next to it. I want to go right next to it. All right, now I'm gonna prime my finger. I'm gonna put a little bit of this chalk on here so that I get a good start. And what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna trace this whole line and then go back over it and try to almost make it glow, like glow out. See, that just look like a, this kind of looks like Taco Cabana stuff right here. This is fun. <laughs> look how fun that is. Now, the only bad part about this is if you want to if you want to keep this on here you're going to want to spray matte finish because some people want to keep you know certain things like you have a menu and they want to change it out so you do it's a taco stand so you do uh you know drinks sauces tacos extras cheeses or whatever you know nachos whatever um so you most likely what you do is you'll put something up there, spray matte spray over it so it stays there. You can't erase that. The only problem is sometimes chalk will disappear on a blackboard. If it's white, it'll, it's, it's beautiful. It stays up there. But you don't get the same effect with, with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray. And remember, you spray this over it, this is not coming off. So I'm just going to spray just a little to see what that does if it stays like that or if it makes it disappear because if you think about it you, you you do a spray like a clear over a chalk like this it's just going to dissolve it right that's what you would think and it sure did but let's see when it dries we'll see how much is left Bless you. Yeah, this is dry. <clears throat> and it's gone. Like, can you imagine? You would be so upset. So don't do that. <laughs> you know? see I think you can also put some color inside of your I wonder if you can I haven't never I don't think I've ever tried that put a little chalk inside your paint pen I've never tried to draw on the chalk Thanks, Clara. and it kind of works there that's fun I've never tried to do that <laughs> It's just certain little things to make your chalkboard stand out, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's so much fun. All right, now I'm kind of interested in seeing how this erases off of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a regular old rag. Let me see, I got some water here. And I also want to try um, putting a little alcohol on it and see if that does it. Um, and, and normally when you erase from a chalkboard, it'll erase, but you'll still be able to see where it's almost like it etches it in, kind of. Oh, look at those. I had to get those today, too. <laughs> Dual paint brush pins. Oh, they call them pins. 
dual brush pins. I guess that's the same, right? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna try to do that. I did this first here. You know what? I'm just gonna do all this because there's chalk on here too, so let's see how this comes off. See that? Where I sprayed the... See? That's what I mean. Like the ATD kind of came off. And you always... If you, right when you, when you start wiping it down and it gets a little messy, use a new part of the rag. Don't be afraid to, to get quite a bit of water on there. Alright. So, that's, that's what I always see here. It's, it's gone, but it's not. And I even wiped over that and that stayed. I want three tacos, Jeff. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can put some alcohol on a rag and wipe this here and see if that if that comes off of there. How awesome is that color? All right, so this is just uh, isoprophic alcohol. Isoprof isoprophic? You guys, you should see how amazingly cute she is with her glasses on. B got glasses today. All right, so we're gonna wipe the ATD down right here with alcohol. Ooh, I was worried that it was going to take the paint off. That's and look at that, y'all. Ooh, but it made it shiny. What? It took away the ATD, but it made the chalkboard shiny. Well, that's not good. <laughs> That would ruin your chalkboard. Look at that, y'all. So I'm gonna see if I can draw on this. You can still draw on it. It's pretty rough. Oh, look at the difference. Wow. Like, look how smooth. It's a little smoother than that, right? So this is just wiped down with water, drawing back over it. And if you want to smooth out your chalk, just hit it with your finger just like that. Boom, and make it nice and smooth. Look how fun that is, y'all. All right. Well, that's fun. I, I didn't know that that would do that. You can smooth it out. Let's see what this looks like. You can still draw on it. Let's see what happens if you try to get rid of it. Well, it goes away. Ooh, let's see if we just rub a whole bunch of water over where that alcohol was and see if you can get back that. Y'all. Yeah, you pretty much ruin your chalkboard if you wipe it down with alcohol Look at that you can see 
I think you know what it's doing. I think it's going through the through the paint. Oh yeah. Do not wipe. Don't use alcohol to clean your chalkboard. Good to know. All right. Now we're gonna do uh, the sanded one. This is just straight sanded. Sanded with 400. All right. And now I'm gonna do chalk first. We'll do multiple. Babe, what should I write? All right, so this is what I started off. So what I do is I, I put tape down so I have, you know, where I want to draw the lettering. Um, you can do the lettering on the inside of this if you like, if you're that comfortable. Um, just know if you go outside that line that there's going to be a negative part right there. So if you're making an S and you come out and down, you're not going to be able to see the rest of the S. So, um, if you do keep it in, keep it in. If you do keep the tape on, just stay inside that line, right? Let's, let's do that. I'll show you that. Crab legs. Is it two G's or just one G? Crab legs? Yeah. All right, I'll show you what it looks like if you go right up to the edge and you maybe go down a little bit. And sometimes it is fun if you use that, use the line, then that way a lot of a lot of your letters will seem uniform. Um, so let's say you start your letter up there, come down over, you know, if you come down just right on it. And you're going to get a straight line down there though. But look how nice it looks if you just keep on the inside of that and that's what it looks like if you go out or if you go all the way to the top you're gonna get a little bit of friction there not good not good not good no all right I wanted to show you guys how to make um, how to make ghost lines so you don't have to leave your tape on so let's say you're making, you want to use, you want to use uh, this thickness of, of lettering, but you don't have this thickness of tape. This is what I do. Take your, whoop, take your chalk. Remember, use use kind of a, a, a little bit darker chalk, and just do your line right there make just rub your hand on the on the uh, tape and and your board all right so now then you take this piece of tape off put it well you're gonna want a gap you're gonna want a, a little space so make like what is that a fourth a fourth of a gap right there then take this piece of tape and line it up with this piece. Now you get your chalk again. Make this line a little bit more noticeable. Come down right here. And you pull it up. Now you have a perfect setup to do a line here and a line here. And you can't even really see that. Especially if you use uh, paint pins, let's, let's do this. We're going to do a bigger, bigger font here. Let 
Let's see here. There you go. Bada bean. Alright, now let's let this dry. Because normally when the chalk pen dries, it doesn't smear. So let's take a dry rag and you can still see our purple lines here, right? And there you go, we get rid of all the purple lines. The majority of them, you can kind of see it where I touched it, where I, where I went over it, but Barely. All right. So now we're going to do uh, a technique where it's just like, it's, it's kind of a negative space where you're not going to put any, any, any hard lines with the chalk pen. You're just going to use your chalk. You're basically going to just outline. You don't want to get too close to the lettering because you don't want it to interfere with what it's saying. Um, you can also use a Q-tip or a cotton swab or your rag or whatever. And again, Prime, up, prime this up because what you'll do is you'll just end up taking off your, your chalk first. And what this is is just a slight, just a slight glow just to give it some, just to give it some pop. See, it's not too fancy. fancy not too flashy you know people don't want a lot of pop in there in it then you could take your green maybe just a little bit a little here and there give it some hints and there you go you got a fun little piece of art see you guys I like that. That's like super fun. I would probably outline this white though. I'd probably want to make this pop a little more. So, <clears throat> and when lettering is real close like this, like I said, with this green, don't put it too close to it and because and, you'll interfere with it and maybe uh, deform the letter or something. Um, the same goes with this. If you're going to outline this, stay really really close and true to the form um, so that you don't interfere with how the letter is shaped and how it interacts with the word or uh, the letter next to it fun and these are those new paint pins these are awesome they take a little bit longer to dry from what I noticed before 
Well, these were on sale. These were $19 for 30 of them. But if you have a handy dandy heat gun, I mean, it looks good. Look how bright that just popped that. I mean, it still looks good like that. If somebody's simple, they, they just want it plain and to the point, leave it alone. If not, put a little color in it. Now the fun part. Erase time. All right, so let's get, uh, normally I have a spray. You can use a spray bottle too, if you want. Let's, let's try this. If you want, you can let that set. I've never tried that before. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. I've never tried to do a drip before on, on, on lettering. And then let it dry. Oh my God, that would be so fun. Let's let it just dry. Here, let's see how this erases at the bottom, though. Ooh, what was this? This was just sanded, right? You're right on the back? Yeah. That does not want to come off. Well, give a little elbow grease in it, Will. But, and that's, that's also a different, uh, this is, okay, yeah, this is chalk. This is the chalk pin as well. That comes off. But these, uh, Pintel, that, that, uh, that stains it. You can still see a little bit, uh, of the Bristo. Bistro. I wonder what that would look like if you let that dry. Oh, that is so fun. Can you go over that? And it doesn't, I, I figured it would come off on your chalk pen. That's a fun technique. Maybe for Halloween you can make it spooky lettering. Wow. That's super fun. So what was that? That was just straight. It was just straight paint pen. All right, now let's try to take it off. Yeah, that is, does not want to come off. Maybe you can use maybe Windex. That might take your paint off though. But if this was a regular chalkboard, it might be different results. I'm kind of showing you if you make your own. Um, on clear. Oh, it'll right. It wipes right off. You can still see where the crab legs are, but you're gonna be going over that, you know? Um, you'll be going over this as well with the art sale. But uh, that's that's pretty, it's pretty still there. 
Like, I don't even want to know what it's going to do with this, uh, with this, it, this isn't anything. This is straight, straight up black paint with no sanding or nothing. So, all right, so let's try this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Wow, look at that blue. Y'all are buying these color fashion paints by like I'm almost out of the colors that I ordered 30 Look at that color. That's, that's pretty awesome. All right, so you can leave this looking like this if you want. Like chalkboardy. Or you can you can take uh, whatever, your finger, your a piece, a rag, a Q-tip. Ooh, what about um, one of these guys? A burnisher. I've actually used one of these before on a small chalkboard. Like, let's prime this, and you could get probably a nice little ghost outline. But that would take forever. But it's still fun. Or you can take your hand give it a nice smooth texture sometimes what i like to do is make it like it's kind of like it's paint give it a little and you can take your, your Oh, that is so fun. <laughs> All right, now you can take your paint pens if you want and outline your chalk. Just don't go, don't go over your chalk because it'll clog up your paint pen. And try to trace every little, every little part of what the letter is. It just gives it nice texture and some uh, caricature. You're not trying to do like a nice, smooth, accurate outline unless you want it that way but this is like super textured so you're utilizing your your surface because your surface is pretty rough like I didn't sand this doing that that looks terrible <clears throat> it's 
So I probably wouldn't do an outline on something like this. <clears throat> you know? Because that looks terrible. probably make lightning with this. Let's make some lightning. doing is I'm just going on the outside of this lightning If you wanted to make some lava with this, that would be fun. See if you can go over that with this. Not clog up your pen. Hmm, it kind of takes it out of there. But almost do that a bigger like the dark I'd make it bigger all right now <laughs> we're gonna see what this looks like if we wipe this down with some water I don't want to use a sprayer remind you this is raw paint and we're just gonna get some water You're going to be really surprised that this chalk stains this. Oh, wow. It came off, y'all. The chalk came off. But the chalk pen is very faint. Everything else came off. But like I said, if you're if you're drawing on it, you're gonna draw over this, so you're not even gonna be able to see those lines.
how was I doing that one font? I did I did this lady Angela. She's like a motivational speaker and a uh, very very positive person. She lives in my building. <clears throat> she uh, I did her chalkboard for her place. She has um, a lot of people over and very very positive person. Um, I did a bunch of lettering. How did I do that? Like you can make neon, like I like I do with uh, with the. Uh, I don't think that's what you do that with, though. Let's try that. We're gonna do. We're gonna do. We'll just do an A. Trying to make this nice and uniform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this to where it's really fuzzy, but keep its form. I'm not trying to go crazy. Wipe off the excess. Now I'm gonna take a little bit lighter blue and I'm gonna make a solid line. a little bit like right here and then I'm gonna just kind of barely give this a I'm going over it with my finger just a little bit I don't want those lines to connect because you know how you don't see all of the lines in neon and now I'm gonna take white I don't even have white. I have some kind of is that a white. It's kind of white. And then I'm just gonna go a solid line on the inside of that. Well, I guess I, this is not really white, but it kind of works. To make the inside of it. But well, that's fun, right? That is fun. Guys, I love these new pins. I'm not even using them. What's the deal? Can't go any further. <laughs>
That's fun. You guys are awesome. Thanks for just hanging out with me doing this. <laughs> I haven't been really reading up on the screen. All right, she wanted me to, here, let's erase this, see how this works. I'll just spray this one first. See what the old drip. That is not gonna drip, that is just gonna erase. A lot of chalk y'all but also this is that piece that is not sanded nor sprayed it is a completely different color and you can still see it But it's a lot smoother <laughs> just by just by keep using it. Let's try something here. Look how good that blue looks on that black background. So see, you do your letter first, and if you want to put color inside, like, like a fade of color, you can surely do that. Like let's say you want to do some, they, they say, I want some fire on the inside. Put your chalk down. Very light. Remember, the red is just a glow. I'm not trying to make that stand out so much. Put a couple. Hard lines in there. Take your orange. You're going to just outline those hardcore red. And 
your yellow. Guys, I did not think this video was going to be this long. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done that with the white paint pen. <laughs> but there you go. You get some fire on the inside of your letter. That's fun. Anything's possible with chalk, y'all. Even orange and blue. So I, I like to be able to stand out when I do chalkboard work. A lot of people do the same old thing. I love doing this. I love doing this for y'all. Y'all just let me draw. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, and Gotti art, Gotti deal, God ideal. I like these pins. So if you're watching, I give your pins a 10. They're great. 10 bananas. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see what they look like on this acrylic. Obviously you can't use um, pastels on acrylic. So let's put these away. You can tell I do not put them in the right slot. So we got a couple of these colors out here. So we got one of our clear geodes. Uh, we'll use one of these uh, bistros. This might be well. You would you would you'd probably have to resin over this first because this will definitely come off. I I know it'll come off. But the only problem is, is drawing on it. You have to draw kind of small for these pins to look um, nice and solid. Because if you try to do like a big letter, like a big fast letter, like it's just not going to it's not going to look solid like because you're going to have to go back over like and it just looks terrible see the difference between that one and that one terrible? well if you if you if you're trying to draw big with these tiny markers with these tiny tips like this now if you have here, if you have a bigger tip like this chiseled pink one it's nice and solid You're saying it's, all about the tip. it's all about the tip and it erases so um, if you guys have a chalkboard at home ooh, let's try this no I don't want to do that because I'll just ruin it what? Well, I thought about doing the chalk and then putting the matte spray over it. I know that'll work. But so let's say you have a big piece of this and you have to make big letters. Um, either you you take it, you have to do it like really slow, and this would take forever to do each big letter or you do it fast and then you get it streaky see that doesn't look good it might look good if that's what you want your font to look like 
or you can do it slow. Streaky or fast? Streaky, I mean streaky or Wow, that back looks fun. But, if you don't like it, wipe it off. Or, this is fun. What if you did this? Let's say you did a T and then an A. And then a D. And then you dried it. And then you turn it over. And you want to put orange around it. All over the whole thing. Or maybe just like a, a fun 80s theme. You want to dry that. And then you want to put some color around that. You guys, I'm giving you so many ideas here. <laughs> some of them good, some of them not so good. I'm actually kind of excited to see what this is going to look like on the other side. Whoa, <laughs> very 3D-y. If you did a white, let's say you did something white. So you can't go back over chalk. It just kind of streaks. Oh, you've made it brighter and you've given it a shadow. Pretty fun. Do chalk and put resin over it. Um, I kind of did with that dragon piece that I did. is not wanting to play right with me right now you guys yesterday my contact or the day before yeah it was yesterday I was rubbing my eye or something and it folded <laughs> and it went up in my eyelid didn't even know it was gone for I don't know had to be half a day I'm wondering why my eye kept watering and I couldn't really see that well out of my left eye which I can't anyways <laughs> there you go this is a lot this is 
obviously a lot easier cleaning it off this just because it's so slippery but there you have it Ooh, JJ look what I got these were eight dollars <laughs> you know what I actually think they were six they might have been eight all right I'm done with this so there you have it I feel like a dealer You know me, I have to put all my markers back. Um, so, um, there's your little lesson in chalkboard art. I don't really know if it's called a lesson, but more of a sitting and watching me do stuff. <laughs> Which I highly appreciate you guys letting me do that. Um, and I, I like these. These are nice. 19 bucks. You get 30 of them. Um, all awesome colors. I didn't use all of them, obviously. But um, they were nice. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They came with little chalkboards didn't even use those oh well maybe next time um i am finny look at that even the chalk comes off the shiny paper not too well but it does oh yeah you can write on your butcher paper with chalk pins. And it works. All right. Where's my Dealey Mabobber? Do 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 do. Eye surgery Wednesday. She's sending your grayscale markers. Well, awesome, Carol. That's going to be awesome. Awesome. 2600 vision in left eye. I, this left eye drives me crazy. So I feel you. I'm feeling you. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, y'all. Um, I hope that gives you a little inspiration, a little uh, insight to how I do it. It's not necessarily how you're supposed to. I just like to. Um, maybe next time if I get a gig, we'll go live just to kind of show you my whole entire process. It's a very long process. <laughs> um, once I get into it, like it's, it's a lot of fun. And like I said, I, I forget, you know, how long I've been doing it while I'm doing it. So, um, thanks for joining me. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Nene. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you, JJ. Um, all for uh, watching over the room for me, answering questions, leaving comments, leaving all the information. Um, let's think here. What else do we got? Oh, yeah. I forgot to put this out here, y'all. Um, this one here. Um, the Pour With Us class. Is that right there? Right here? And right there. Doink, doink, doink. <laughs> um, it's coming up June 25th. We recommend you buy the kit if we're shipping it on the before the 20th. Um, we're going to start shipping them all out on Monday if you've already ordered. Yeah, we're going to start shipping them out on Monday 
if you've already ordered. Um, we recommend you order it before the 20th, not on the 20th. And if you do and you don't get it, we warned you. Um, class starts at 8 p.m. on the 25th, Central Standard Time, Dallas, Texas time. Um, this is a free class. You just have to buy the kit. Unless you already have it, pour along with us. You're more than welcome to. Whole family. Um, we're going to do some negative space, kind of a restraint, right? It'll work. You'll be working on restraint, um, not making, you know, 10,000 gallons of resin and pouring it on. It's going to be a negative space. So minimal paint, um, big reaction, hopefully. Um, all you do is just open the kit and you have everything you need to pour with us in this kit. Um, we recommend the whole family, although we do not recommend ages 13 and younger. We'll say 13 and over, unless you have a very mature 12 year old, which you might. And if that case, I love it. That means that person's gonna be an awesome artist when they grow up. Or when they're that age too. Because there are some crazy good, tiny artists out there. <laughs> so there you go, June 25th, Pour With Us class. Um, you'll, everything you'll need is in the kit if you don't own any resin products. Uh, we also have other kits available on the website um, I'm pretty sure there's a peacock, pretty sure there's an ocean pour, and a primary. Um, and then we have every color you can imagine on our website. So, um, yeah. There's all of our information. That's good. It actually works that way. Um, uh, if you'd like to donate, it goes straight to the channel. It goes straight back into the channel. We appreciate all donations. If you'd like to share our channel, we appreciate that too. If you'd like to like it, we appreciate that too. If you give us a thumbs down, let us know why, please. So we can better that and uh, turn your thumbs down to a thumbs up. Um, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, have compassion, see other people's points, see other people's problems, see other people's... <sighs> Just try to walk in their shoes um, before you make a judgment. So, you guys are awesome. Have an awesome Wednesday night. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe? Maybe from my mom's house. We'll be in Kansas tomorrow, so... Um, you guys have an awesome night. Let me get this logo transition ready. On three, three, two, one, bye. Carol gave us, where's my button? Carol gave us $10.